Singapore is a unique hybrid mix of different cultures, just like the Peranakan culture. In this episode, join us as we take a trip to the heritage town of Peranakans to find out more. Located along East Coast Road, this two-story shop house is named Katong Antique House and is home to a wide range of Peranakan antiques and heirlooms. The interior of the house is also structured in accordance to Peranakan homes, consisting of the main hall, the inner hall, and a kitchen. Fourth generation Baba, Mr. Peter Wee, also the president of Peranakan Association, shares with us his tales of yesteryears. Katong Antique House, I think, was registered more than coming to 40 years ago. The reason I opened this is because I inherited the building and I was having an antique shop somewhere in Orchard Road and by that time when I acquired this building here at 208 East Coast Road I decided to close the Orchard Road uh, shop then come to Katong. After five years, I discovered that every item that passes through the door of the shop has a meaning to me. It could be the shoe, it could be the furniture, it could be the porcelain, it could be the jewellery, it could be the kabaya. tells a story of this Peranakan culture. So thereby, I found and then back my own culture. This is the formula of what the Peranakan culture is all about. It is 80% customs and tradition of the old Chinese group that we call the Hokkien's that came out of China. And this is assimilated with the local customs and tradition of the Malays, the Indians, the Eurasians. And last of all, it is influenced by the Western culture. And in the Singapore context, it is the British influence. What is preserved today is the material culture, the architecture, the buildings, the kabayas, as you can see a lot, the sarongs, and now the porcelain. The food itself has been evolving, but under the name of Peranakan. Mr. Wee also shared with us his views on the importance of preserving Peranakan culture. Many young Singaporeans are lack of history. It's very important. Seek your, your past, and from your past, you can find your roots, your ancestral roots. And then with that, you can understand who you are, where you came from, and what am I here for. So that is very important from the past. Then the present is up to you to interpret and to reinvent your new dishes, your fusion dishes, and so on. Just like they reinvent the new kabayas into such colourful things, and so on. 